we're given that the sides of this blue equilateral triangle are 30 centimeters. By joining the midpoints of the sides, another triangle is formed, the white one in the diagram. If this process is continued, more triangles are formed, each one inside of the previous one. We're asked to find the perimeter of the sixth triangle formed. We'll start by finding the length of one side of the sixth triangle. We can calculate the perimeter from this later. The length of a side of the first triangle is 30 centimeters, so we can create a geometric sequence for which the first term A1 equals 30. You can see by looking at the diagram that the length of a side of each triangle is one half the length of the triangle preceding it. For example, the length of one side of the larger white equilateral triangle is one half the length of the blue triangle, or 15 centimeters. So we can state that the common ratio R is equal to one half. The length of one side of the sixth triangle, which is what we're trying to find, we can call term A6. Recall that A1 equals 30 and R equals one half. And we want to find the length of one side of the sixth triangle, which is A6. So N equals six. To find A6, we'll start by writing the formula for the nth term in a geometric sequence. We'll replace each n in the formula with 6. A1 is 30, and the exponent 6 minus 1 equals 5. We'll replace r in the formula by its value 1 half. 1 half to the fifth power is 1 32nd. 30 over 32 can be simplified to 15 sixteenths. So we can state that the length of one side of the sixth triangle is 15 sixteenths of a centimeter. We know that the length of one side of the sixth triangle is 15 sixteenths of a centimeter. But recall the original question asked us to find the perimeter of the sixth triangle. Looking at the diagram, you can see that the perimeter of an equilateral triangle is three times L, the length of one side. The length of one side is 15 sixteenths of a centimeter. 3 times 15 sixteenths of a centimeter is equal to 45 sixteenths of a centimeter, or 2 and 13 sixteenths of a centimeter. So we can state that the perimeter of the sixth triangle formed is 45 sixteenths of a centimeter, or 2 and 13 sixteenths of a centimeter.